Good morning, everyone. Welcome to MC Webinars. Today we are um, talking about all the different changes we've made to Career Coach and how now it's uh, so much more of a, an efficient tool. And um, we're going to be discussing the ins and outs of that. So um, hopefully you will find that um, as exciting as we are. Um, so our host today is Carla, Carla Archibald. She is the Business Development Manager for Further Education. Um, if you have any questions when she goes through the course of this presentation, please put them in the box on the, your control panel and we'll do the best we can to answer them at the end of the presentation. Joining Carla today, we have John Gray, who is our new Director of Further Education, and Evie Young, who is our Client Services. So uh, without any further ado, I'd like to hand over to you, Carla. Good morning. Thank you, Debbie. Good morning and good morning to everybody who's joined us. Um, a very snowy Liverpool this morning, so I hope you have all managed to get into work today. Um, purpose of today's webinar then is to give an overview of the newly improved Career Coach tool. So we recently launched this a couple of weeks ago and we're very excited to share the new features with you in a little bit more detail. So over the next half an hour, we're aiming to cover um, quite a few bits. So we'll give you a brief overview of who we are and what we do for any non-customers that have joined us today. But I know that the majority of, of people that are with us are customers. I wanted to also take this opportunity to also introduce John Gray, our new director of further education, who's recently joined MZ and will be in touch shortly if he hasn't already. Um, to give you a bit of an overview of his role. So John's going to take a few minutes to introduce himself and just explain a little bit more about the role at MZ. I'll also outline the role of Labour Market Insight in supporting student engagement activities within education providers. So basically, why does Career Coach exist and what are we trying to solve with that? We'll run through the aim of the new release of Career Coach and the features in a little bit more detail. And then we've also got Evie Young with us today, our client services manager, who many of you will know very well. Um, Evie will give us an overview of the process for customers and transitioning over to the new career coach. So you've got the pleasure of four of us today um, and not just me talking to you for half an hour. So a very, very brief overview of who MZ are and what we do as a reminder or for any of you who um, a kind of new tools and what we do. So we don't need to tell you that attracting and retaining students to your college is more crucial than ever before. So with increasing competition, ongoing funding cuts and shrinking budgets, demonstrating to young people in your area why they should enroll in a course at your college is never been more vital to your success. So it's our mission at MZ to help people make better decisions relating to the world of work. We do this by providing robust, detailed labour market data to help you and colleagues better understand where you should be focusing your efforts. And that ranges from a whole kind of um, host of different processes and departments within a college, everything from curriculum planning, engaging with employers or um, what we'll cover today, engaging with students. So first of all, we'll um, start with introducing John. So our number one priority at MZ has always been to bless the customer. This is something that we've been striving to do since signing up our first customer many years ago. And it's also something that we want to get better at as our customer base expands. So to help us achieve this, we've recognized that we probably needed to bring in a dedicated director to look after all of our customers in further education, which is um, our biggest sector and just growing and growing and growing. What we're looking for was someone who knows and loves further education in the sector and who will be able to kind of listen to our customers, find new ways of bringing them more value from our existing products, um, and also looking at kind of future solutions. So I'll let John introduce himself and he'll be able to give you an overview of his role and plans going forward. Hi, John. Hi, Carla. Thanks for the introduction and good morning, everybody. Hope you're looking forward to um, this morning's webinar. Um, so as Carla says, my name is um, John Gray. I started working with MZ 
on the 1st of January this year um, as Director of Further Education. Um, my role is to work with colleges within the sector to support customers to get to get the best value out of the tools and, and out of the LMI data um, and really to work as a champion across the sector for the use of labour market information um, across the sector um, and linking into other sectors such as higher education where possible as well. Um, so I thought it'd be useful just to tell you a little bit about myself and, and my background. Um, I've worked in and around the sector for about 20 years now. Um, the, the last 10 years of that have been working in senior management roles um, at Chesterfield College and more recently at Sheffield College. So given that experience, I um, clearly have a good understanding of, of how the sector works, um, how colleges work, some of the challenges of, of working in a college and within the broader sector, um, but also have a real passion and, and understand the benefits um, and great work that the sector also provides. So um, I'm going to be in a really good position to help uh, current customers and new customers to, to get best value. Um, so some of my areas of expertise, um, marketing, I'm a, I'm a chartered marketer um, and a marketer by trade, um, but also got a lot of experience in business development, curriculum and business planning, um, particularly around new product development and um, being able to identify new market opportunities and then develop products to, uh, to, um, to really benefit from that new market. Um, so, as, as Carla said, I'll be contacting all customers um, in the coming weeks, um, if I haven't already done so. Um, try and set up meetings and come and find out a bit more about how you work um, and, and some of the key challenges that, that you face. Um, so, look forward to working with you all soon. Thanks, John. And on the side are John's contact details if anybody has a more pressure, um, pressing matter that they want to chat to, to John about um, before he gets around to, to speaking to you. So let's just rewind a little bit and go back to um, a bit of a reminder of why we need Labour Market Insight to support student engagement activities. So we briefly touched on at the beginning that funding cuts mean that demonstrating to young people in your area why they should enrol in your institution is vital to a college's success. It's not only your college that's been affected, but also your competition meaning they're also up in their game when it comes to marketing their institution as the place to go to gain the right skills to gain meaningful employment in the future. So it's no longer a case then of persuading people of the benefits of education in general. It actually comes down more specifically to why they should come to your institution rather than your competitors. So what does success look like? So why are we doing this? If a college can market their organisation effectively to show how your provision or your offer leads to employment and really hone in on the benefits that the college brings to its potential students, then it's more likely to see an increase in recruitment rates as a direct result. Not only that, but students in theory should then be more motivated as they can directly see the link between their education and their dream job or first career, meaning that the college also benefits in higher retention rates. Not going to go into too much detail there, so we'll leave that there um, around exactly how colleges can achieve that. This feeds really nicely into our five-step guide to better student engagement. What this guide does is identify five clear steps that are listed on the screen that colleges can follow to better engage with students using labour market data. So that can be found on our resources page on our website, but do just give one of us a shout if you want us to send this over. Many of you will kind of use this as a bit of a, a blueprint, um, but really, really good um, piece of, of work just to kind of lay out exactly how we can engage with students. So, new Career Coach. We launched the first version of Career Coach here in the UK back in 2011, and Burton and South Derbyshire were our first ever Career Coach customer. So, after many, many years of working with the education sector, we've learned a lot along the way and know that for any young person starting to think about their future, looking at careers options that appeal to their interests, but are also realistic in terms of what jobs are available is really not an easy thing to do. And you'll have many, many teams within the college that will be involved in this process. 
What's needed is a way of taking young people on a careers journey that includes four key things, we think. So first thing, it needs to take account of that learner's ambitions and strengths. This needs to then be matched to labour market reality. Um, somebody needs to be able to show them what training they need to do. I say somebody or, or something. And then this also needs to connect them into the world of work. So the idea around the new career coach tool was to include all of these elements, giving an end to end resource to support the learner in figuring out what education need to, they need to enroll in to ensure that they can take the career path they want and how then that leads into future employment. So what's new? First of all, we've improved the design to offer a hugely improved user experience. So our remit when kind of taking all of the feedback from customers and, and looking at the kind of roadmap for this was simply, how can we help education providers make the careers journey from initial thoughts all the way through to getting a job, a smooth and seamless process for the young per people who come through a college doors or an education provider's doors. So I'll walk you through each of the bullet points on the slide. Um, but the first thing to note is the visual update. So you'll see throughout the, the new site that it's um, significantly improved in kind of appearance and it runs on a mu much faster platform. We've also made the tool mobile and tablet friendly after much feedback. So it's, it's much more accessible for our customers to use. So when a person begins to think about potential careers, the huge choice of different possibilities out there can appear to be both confusing and daunting. We hear this a lot. Um, there's a lot around the Gatsby benchmarks, the kind of career strategy that it's not an easy thing to do. And how can providers start to unpick this and make it a little bit clearer for the learner? So what every young person needs at the start of their careers journey is some way of narrowing those options down. Um, and look at the careers that are most suited to their interests and abilities. One of the features that we've redesigned within Career Coach is the careers assessment. So we now actually have two. So we have a quick start assessment, which exactly as before, asks six very simple questions. Um, and the new mobile optimized and tablet friendly site has changed that slide bar into um, kind of options from strongly agree to strongly disagree. Or the learner can take a more detailed assessment, which includes 60 questions. Um, within the next release of this new version of Career Coach, based on feedback from initial testing with our customers, we've also decided to include a third option, which will be a 30 question assessment. So three different options there, which can be turned on or off, um, depending on, on what you feel necessary. Um, just after, just as before, after completing one of these assessments, the tool will then point users to those careers that are the best fit based on the, the answers that they've given. So having gained an idea of the sorts of careers a learner might look to do, and then having been given insight on the demand for those similar roles in their area. So again, all regionalized as before. The next question on the careers journey is, what training do I need to do as that learner to get to where I want to be? So the heart of Career Coach has always been its ability not just to give people insight on occupations in their area, but also to link this back to the courses offered by you, the college. What we've done with the new version is to keep this link, obviously, it's the USP of Career Coach, but with a brand new design, so it's far more intuitive than before and much easier to navigate. So you'll see, see on the slide, we've got that median salary and kind of current employment figures, but then we have a range of different options from overview to wages to employment and live job postings. So the learners can click through that in a um, kind of a logical process. We've also included job postings data, which is really, really exciting. And um, this comes from our analyst tool. Um, what job posting analytics does is help the learner or user get a sense of the skills demand of the employers in the area, as well as the names of the actual companies who are hiring for these jobs. 
So jobs posting data brings those occupations to life, basically. It shows the learners that local employers are actually hiring for those types of roles. And it also gives those top skills that those employers are asking for. So I think particularly useful for when learners are preparing for the world of work and also gives them really, really vital bits of information on how to advertise the skills that they've gained in education to those local employers. So final step in the journey is linking those courses to careers. It's always been about that, having helped people evaluate the careers options through the assessment, um, having then given them the insight they need to make an informed decision about those potential jobs based on labour market realities, and then having shown them what courses they can do at your college to help them get the job. The final part of this journey is to help them start looking for employment and help them start looking for an actual job. So the new career coach is designed to do this last part in a number of different ways. Um, the first thing is the improved CV builder. So this CV builder, um, it was it was good anyway, but what it now allows users to do is to store multiple CVs for different roles, um, kind of tailor those skill sets to different types of, of jobs, occupations, and they can now save, edit, and download these from their account. So they can create a profile if you like. Um, we've also introduced the employer portal, which we are extremely excited about. So this enables the provider to basically give access to the tool to local employers. So any large companies that they have um, relationships with, um, they can then post their job vacancy straight onto the site. Learners can use that CV builder to upload CVs that they've done on Career Coach or that they've got from elsewhere to basically apply directly for vacancies. Um, and that completes that final step of providing employers with kind of skilled employees that are coming directly from, from your education provider. Really, really exciting. And obviously, you can contact Evie and John to have a look at all of this in much more detail. So really brief overview, um, look into some of the the new features, but the aim of this webinar was basically to show the new problems we're solving with the updated version. Um, I'm sure many of you are now very eager to know what you can do to get switched over to the new version and what you'll need to kind of provide Evie with, what you won't need to provide Evie with. So I'm going to pass you over to Evie. Um, many of you know Evie is our UK Client Services Manager. She looks after you all very well on a daily basis. So. I'll let Evie outline the transition process for you. Hi, Evie. Hi, Carla. Thank you for that. Um, so it's worth saying, in terms of next steps, um, there are four kind of clear stages that we would um, we would say we'd like to go through with you. Before I start on any of these uh, these stages, uh, it's worth saying that nothing will change in the short term. You will still have your career coach site, um, and we won't be changing anything. The first stage that I wanted to go through is the build stage. So what we will do, um, we will build you a brand new career coach with all of the brand new features and all of the bits that Carl has just gone over, which will sit separately to your current site. Secondly, the review stage, we will send you that link so you can go through, have a play around with the site, um, take a look and make sure that you are completely happy with it. If there is anything that you want to change or anything um, that you'd like to go in and edit, as it's a completely customizable site, um, we go into the edit stage where you can make changes to the design, to the layout, to all of the course information that we have in uh, your career coach site, and also the mappings that we have between courses and careers. Um, you're fully able to change those as well. And then finally, once that's done, your site is up, it is ready to go. Uh, we can set up redirects to swap your users from your old site to your new site um, as you go through and update those links. Um, so it's pretty easy. We will do all of the building and all of the necessary um, arrangements. You basically just need to go over it, make sure you're happy, um, and then we can launch that for you. Um, I will be in touch with everybody separately um, to get any of the information that we might need from you um, and to share those links around. But if anyone does have any questions about this uh, in the meantime, my email address is on the screen um, and John will also be in contact. So please get in touch if you have any questions in the meantime. 
Thank you, Evie. Um, just going to spend then, um, take the opportunity to ask or answer any of your questions. Debbie, do we have any questions at this point? I'm guessing that's a no. Um, you've got Sorry, contact. Uh, it's okay. Was you on mute? <laughs> no, there's no, there's no questions at the moment. That's I've... fine. That's all right. Um, you've got contact details for John Ev. Um, just going to take a quick second to give you some details for our MZ National Conference for this year. Um, tomorrow's workforce defining, developing and delivering the skills of the future. We've got some really, really good speakers lined up and some great workshop the themes. Um, so definitely recommended. Um, early bird registration finishes today. Um, this is the 15th and 16th of May this year and it's in Birmingham. So have a look on the website. There's a big conference banner which will take you straight to the page with all of the details on that. Um, final note. Any, any non-customers um, on the webinar today, if you do want to get in touch with me, email and phone number is on the screen and we can have a little bit of a chat around challenges um, and we can also arrange a full demo of the new career coach if you want. Thanks for your time today. That's it from us um, and we hope to hear from you soon. I'm very excited to get you all switched over to the new career coach site. Thank you. Thanks everybody for attending. Speak to you soon. Bye.